Hey everybody, this is Unknown Demon. So I got a request on how to make angled roofs like these. Well, let's head to my single player and I'll show you. Okay, so if you want to start making an angled roof, what you want to do is start with the outline or a skeleton of uh, what you want to make your roof. Basically, when you make the angled roof, you want to think of a pyramid. So, um, first of all, I have this little grass border for the house and what I did was basically oh yeah um when you're placing your skeleton you want to use cobble not the stairs yet so what you want to do is think of the very corners as sort of like a cobble block here let me demonstrate so you make it like a pyramid um okay now the connector part will be kind of difficult Oh yeah, uh, you do not want to worry about angle roofs, and sorry, it's still early and I'm kind of feeling under. I've only had 4 hours of sleep, but anything for YouTube. So basically, what you want to do is think of a pyramid, and you don't have to worry about the tip at the end. So if you do have the tip at the end, like if you have a single block, after you put the stairs, you can just put a half stone or half step cobblestone stairs right there and it'll look natural so after you basically got the skeleton what you want to do is basically just make a pyramid connect these two points you don't have to connect it to any other points for this area where it's connecting well first of all I made it connect all the way down to the side you can see if I took this part out and this part out this side would be mirroring that side but you need to connect this sides over here you need to connect it to this part of the roof and as you can see it's sort of like connecting these areas too as a pyramid since if you uh, make it go this way so it will connect to this it would actually look pretty weird so you do not want to do that well okay now uh, let's connect these parts again there now after you got the skeleton, what you want to do is combine it and let's do that right now. Okay, so this is what the skeleton looks like combined or closed in, like all the gaps filled in so it looks better. Now what you want to do after you have this idea, you want to add the stairs. Uh, the stairs are actually quite easy, it's just regular stairs. But at the end, whoa, lag, okay, go away. Okay, at the end, um, it'll look a little weird because you can't really connect it. By the way, this is how you do it. Like other people have been trying differently. This is how you can get stairs to face the right way. You just face towards the wall and you can jump up on it. So if you can see, that looks a little odd. So what you can do is put a uh, cobblestone block there to sort of get it off or you can still have that sunken feeling around here it's your choice one of the hard areas is right here basically what you want to do is combine it like that and just put a block there that way it won't look so weird so looks like a huge connector here will be around here so this is how you connect the sideways or the concave area of the building as you can see you also have to do it for this side of the roof because if you put the stairs around here you get a concave area around here too so you can put a block there and you can just continue going on with the stairway and it'll look like normal and basically you can just go keep making the stairs Put another block here. Keep connecting it. For I already taught you the outside part. Outside you can either leave it in like this and just leave it normal. Or you can leave that sunk in feeling if you want, or you can do what I do and add a block there so it won't feel so out. Like they'll have something sticking out at you. So basically uh, it's kind of tough to explain, but this is how you connect the concave area. 
after you put the two stairs here you do not want to put a stairs between them you want to put a block so something sticks out and you can go and uh, just basically make the roof for this entrance part or this area you don't exactly have to make it angled like this like a pyramid what you can do is sort of rise it up like this nope messed up there okay any more cobble? Nope. I'll just use planks. And... Uh, come on. Okay. So basically, you can have this type of roofing too. Oh. <laughs> that was a mega click, by the way. You can have that type of roofing and just make it go the same. For the angled parts, what you want to do is... Or the concave parts, what you want to do is combine it like this and put a block in the middle for the exterior area which would look like this you can either leave this area out or you can just place a block there it doesn't really matter but now thanks to you guys I got a mess to clean up and I don't really want to clean this so I'm gonna bring up my friend Mr. 46 to clean it up for me <laughs> Let's go in. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And tenth one will take care of this. So let's have some fun with some TNT. By the way, this is legit TNT from a mob grinder. Oh, run. Okay. Well, that's how you make roofs guys it's not that hard to make an angled roof it's just connecting it and what you want to do is basically think of it as a pyramid so there's your tip hey everybody this is unknown demon and I found this one trick while gathering obsidian it's where my bucket or my water doesn't really disappear that often so let's see if I'll try it because I've done this four times without losing water you, you can just do that you click it down you have to have a space in between and a way for the water to not escape one block here because if it's too mellowed out the obsidian won't go or too leveled it won't go so you can just go catching some lag there mining the obsidian uh, I think at this point I can probably go one lower, so let's do that. Okay, uh, perfect. Okay, all you have to do is put one water, take your water back. See, it works. Now this is a demon, this is a obsidian gathering tip, and I am out.